Thank you so much for tracking all that. Now we want to move on to today's Crime Stopper Spotlight, and we are taking a look back in 2022. Of course, our good friend, our pro, Stacey Payne, is here to help us out. Happy New Year, Stacey. Well, happy New Year to you, too. Hey, you guys have a lot to celebrate after a very successful 2022. Kind of go over what you can tell us. What can you share with us? Oh, boy, we have really had a nice 2022. And as you can see, we have had almost 2,300 tips come in just in 2022 alone. Yeah. And not to mention the communications that we've had of them. But all these tips, everything have resulted in 44 arrests in 2022 of suspects that people have said, listen, I know who that is. Let me give you that information. See, and that's just wonderful. You know, whenever we read your guys' phone numbers here, that's what we want people to do, to reach out and have those communications with you guys anonymously so we can move forward from there. So in addition to those arrests, let's go over some of these other numbers here. Right. In addition to the 44 arrests, we've also been able to have 38 warrants issued for wow. arrests. We've had 54 cases closed and approved 57 reward payouts. So that's 57 people who are getting some cash because they did the right thing. They made a phone call. They, they submitted a tip. And of course, we love the arrest numbers, the warrants, the cases cleared, all of that. Oh, but oh we yeah. do want to prove to people you guys really do pay up when they come forward with these tips. We, we do. We're, we're happy to give people money. I mean, we have approved over $18,000 wow. in reward money for 2022 alone. So it, it's there. And all we need to do is have that person make that phone call. And in addition to that, you can see we have been able to help recover over $77,000 worth of stolen property. And really the important thing, two firearms have been recovered. I say, because somebody has made a tip. Not only are you getting dangerous people off of our local streets and community, but also, you know, weapons. Two stolen vehicles were also recovered. Yep. Um, you guys also handed, added, I should say, a ton of law enforcement agencies. We did. In 2022, we added 18 agencies. So wow. we have, you know, 20 agencies on board with us now. So we are just doing a phenomenal job that way. But we want to add more agencies. and Because yeah. we, we know that the more we outreach, the more we're out there in the community, the better we're going to do and the more cash money we're going to be paying people. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Again, keeping people safe, but shelling out some dough while we're at it. So let's go over what are the goals for 2023 here with you all? Well, and I just said the one. We yeah. really want to add more agencies. We, we cover a lot of area in East Tennessee, and, and though we take the tips, we want your agencies to become involved. So if, you're, right. if you look at our list and you don't see your agency on there, get with your chief or sheriff and say, hey, listen, we want to become a part of East Tennessee Valley Crime Stoppers as well. It doesn't cost them anything. Go bug them. And then, hey, the final thing, of course, we need people to follow you guys on social media yes. and keep bringing those tips forward. So, of course, as always, we have shared that online. Stacy, thank you so much for being here today. Ah, thank you. We got a big 2023 ahead of us. All right, guys. Now, again, I did share this all online as well. Make sure you head on over to our website, WATE.com. And now, after the break, we're going to have another look at your weather wear forecast. We'll be right back.